Hello and welcome to another installation of Motivating Moments. I am your motivator, not just for the week. I'm your motivator for this whole month dedicated to thanks. I am Pastor Gary Bush. Delighted that you've tuned in for a word from the Lord at the beginning of your work week. Here in the month of November, we've decided to use this theme, Thanks for Everything. And we found that theme in the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter number 5, verse number 18. And it reads, In everything give thanks, for, because, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. We always want to be in God's will, so we always have to give thanks. Our friends have a little gift we want to present you with. For me? Oh, thank you. Oh, you shouldn't have done it. We talked about last week what we had to give God thanks for. We can thank Him for who He is. We can thank Him for what He does. And we can thank Him for what He gives. Today, I want to talk about who He is. What you will find in the Bible is a progressive revelation of who God is. He couldn't tell us who he was all at once it's because that is too high for us. We can't attain to it. So he has to give it to us spoonful by spoonful so that we can know who he is. In Genesis 1, it is God that created. In Genesis 2, it's the Lord God that comes through the garden. So adding Lord to God is how God progressively reveals himself. And then we, when we go into the compound names of God, uh, Jehovah Jireh, the God of provision, Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals, uh, Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace, and we should thank God for revealing himself to us. He hasn't played hide and seek with us. A bushel of wheat and a bushel of rye. Who's not here? All right. He's been open. He's been transparent so that we can know that he's a God of love, a God of grace, and a God of mercy, all of which we need. We all need that. I'll say. Certainly, it was God, uh, God's grace that brought salvation, and it's His mercy that sustains us now. So as you go through this week, thank God for who He is. Praise Him for His mighty acts according to His excellent greatness. Have a wonderful week, and if the Lord says the same, I'll see you next week.